and they were refusing to give me my personal mail because I have a legal medical exemption, a legal medical exemption, and they are refusing me my personal mail. She will be fired from her job and fined $75,000 because this goes against the Canadian Charter of Rights. And if that's what they want to pull to further push this communist bullshit, that's up to them. Absolutely. Yes, I'm filming it. Thank you. The Nazis got you, eh? They did. Refusing me my mail. Refusing me. And he's like rough handling me right now. Yeah. Rough handling me. Right it's now. okay. Hey, be strong. It's okay. He's a Nazi. Go ahead. It's all right. It's all right. How long are you gonna keep me in here? How long are you gonna keep me in here? What's your name? No, please. I don't need any questions. Officer Choi? Is that is that your name? Officer Choi. Officer Choi, doing his duties. The rest. Well, I was told I can't wear this in here. Yes. So you can wear that, but I can't wear this. Correct. Why is that? It needs to come tight against your chin. Mm -hmm. over it's your tight against my it's chin. It's not tight against your chin. Okay, well, what if I don't want to wear a mask? You're a, you're a privately owned company. Governor Ducey just signed an executive order. States private companies cannot force me to wear a mask in their they place of business. They said it's our choice. He said that it's not mandated by the state. It's our choice. No, that's not true. The, it is. I got you on video our, right now. Are you sure? It's our policy. Can you show me that somewhere? This is in our writing. policy right here. This is not. This is not a policy. I want to see your policy. Your your your. Sir. Ma that is our policy. I'll be happy to give you a refund if you don't want to put on a mask, but we do require mm -hmm. a mask. Okay, but you, you know I'm going to file a lawsuit. You and you're you filming man. children. We you're filming the greatest children. goddamn country in the world. Dude, you need to fucking go. Move to fucking China Dude, then. You need to fucking go. Go. You leave. No. Fuck you. You piece of shit motherfuckers. Use your yours. goddamn mind. You Use your, your fucking intellect. You're supposed to be the smart people. You're fucking supposed to be the smart people. You're spitting on everyone. I've already paid for my food, so you're gonna give me my food. It's right there. We really don't care what you get. You're gonna have to get out. My food's right here. <laughs> Is that yours? Yeah. Give me my food. I already paid for my food. Fuck you, pay fuck you, my receipt. Fucking, I'm sick of this. My kids are in the car. Can I have my goddamn food? You have kids and you have no sense how to talk to people? Everything you come in, you get at the moment. Ma'am, are you discriminating me against because I have a medical condition? Can I have my food so I can leave? You're not my mom. Don't look at me like that and don't talk to me like you have authority. You work at McDonald's. No, I make a hundred and... Hey, give me my money back. Can I have my money back? What is going on here?
By the law, you do not have to reveal what your disability is. And don't fucking call me Karen. Because I'm not a white privileged bitch. I'm not backing down. No! I don't feel safe to go home. I'm not going to go to my condos until a police officer comes to help me. 911 is here to help, so I'm not backing down. He had a shotgun ready. I'm not going to leave the gym loop. Because I'm a homeowner and I'm tired of the way the Jiffy Loop lets their drivers go in and out of my condo. I'm not, I was walking to the gas station to turn in my Shell tickets. And every time I fucking walk from my condo to the Shell, I get attacked. No, I live at these condos that connect to the Shell. So no, I'm not going to a different Shell station. I don't want to hear you! Okay, that's fine. Fuck off! Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not on your fucking property! Stop coming towards me! Shut the fuck up! Stop chasing me! Stop fucking chasing me! Fuck off! Fuck off! And I'm taking legal action against you! Fuck off! Fuck off! Hey Kathleen, where are Don't talk to me! Okay. Uh, Fuck you, Raise Abdul. Thank you, ma'am. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we're all border hoppers. Kiss my ass. I'm a, I'm a terrorist. That's just all me with my last name. It's all good. You're going to ban me. Ban. You're going to ban me. You're going to get fired. Right. That's going to happen. You're going to get fired. You're going to get fired. And you need to fix them teeth. Right. Fix you, need to, you need to fix your teeth. Right. Fix them teeth. Right. Fix them teeth. Right. Look at your wig. Look at your wig. This is a real girl. Reverse the camera. Let me get my money back. Reverse the camera. Let me get my money back. Camera reverse. This is a real girl. That's a boy. That's a boy. A boy. You damn right it's a thigh. You, you damn right it's a thigh. You damn right it's a thigh. And what? Give my money back. Give my money back. Give my money back. Give my money back. Call police. Call police. Call police. Call police. Call police. Then the woman, who we now know is Nancy Goodman, calls another customer the N word. You're too loud. We're too in loud. In your opinion. In your opinion. Let me show you my money. It's just as green as yours. Right. Oh, you're so stupid. Dude. We found Goodman at her home. I'm a 71 year old woman who lives in Raleigh. I suffer from tremendous anxiety. She says that anxiety and the women's behavior pushed her to act as she did. I'm not going to say I'm sorry to them because they put, kept pushing at it. So, and that's all I'd really like what to say. What about your use of the N word? I used that word because they forced me into it. Do you see how that's incredibly offensive? Yes, I do. That's why I said it. I would say it again to them. She says she would use that word again to you all. Wow. Wow. That's sad.